Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're gonna make this bed all with cheap materials you can get from your home center. Today's video is sponsored by Wrangler Riggs Workwear. Check it. So the purpose of today's video is to show that anybody with a few basic tools can build a bed using wood from their home center. Everything that we have here is pre-cut to width, and I base all the dimensions on this bed on what I could get from Home Depot. The first thing we're going to do is build the support structure that's going to hold the mattress. I have this two and a half inch wide pieces of poplar here that we're going to just cut the length and screw together. So I'm going to cut both pieces at the same time so they don't slide on me. I'm just going to tape them together. All right, I know my length is 82 inches. These will be the two long pieces. And now we need to make the five supports that go in there. So this is the basic layout for the bed support here. I'm gonna attach everything with pocket hole screws. Don't have any clamps, so Eric is being my human clamp. Holding the piece down. Doesn't really matter where these guys are going. What really matters is the guy with the leaf blower two doors down. <laughs> now that the neighbor has stopped his leaf blower, Eric, does that look about center? Yeah. So I got two sheets of half inch plywood and since I couldn't get them in my vehicle, I had Home Depot cut them down into 16 inch strips. So one's gonna go there, one's gonna go there, and one's gonna go right here. This is gonna add all kinds of stability. And so we'll cut them to length, we'll screw them down, we'll flip the whole thing over, and we'll put three more pieces on the bottom side, and that will be our mattress base. You know I'm having flashbacks, Eric. Uh, flashbacks from what, David? We're making a bat house in a parking lot. Mm. What? <laughs> We're making a bed in a driveway. I'm gonna pre-drill some screws with this. It's gonna countersink as well. And then check out this thing from Rockler. This will go right over top to screw it in. So I don't have to keep changing the bits. Check this out. Got that guy. Let's stick that right over top. And we'll screw it in. How cool is that? I broke the bit. And there we go. That is the main section of the bed. That's a little heavy. Nice and sturdy. It's hot out here. But I tell you what, look at what I have on these durable tough pants with sweat wicking technology. What do you wear, dude? Oh, I'm glad you asked. These are the Wrangler Riggs workwear pants. Check that out. I have the Wrangler Riggs Workwear shirt. Check that out. Wrangler Riggs Workwear is comfortable, durable, and tough. It comes with a great value and is backed by a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty? The Cool Vantage fabric offers sweat wicking technology that keeps you cool, dry, and comfortable. I have on the Wrangler Riggs Workwear pants. It's got the little leather tape measure reinforcement right there. It's got all these pockets for all my tools. It's got the little hammer belt on there. Check that out. I also have on the Wrangler Riggs Workwear shirt with the sweat wicking technology. Wrangler Riggs Workwear is designed to work as hard as you do. The patented technologies and innovative fabrics ensure that the shirts, pants, and shorts are durable and comfortable so you can keep working no matter what the conditions. Backed by a lifetime warranty, Wrangler Riggs Workwear is a brand you can trust, providing the durability you expect, protection you need, and the comfort you want. Comfortable, tough, all day long. Seriously, it's like 90 degrees outside right now, and if I didn't have on these pants, I'd have one soggy bottom. We are doing a giveaway of these pants, so stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win yourself a pair. Let's get back to the project. 
So now we're gonna make the base, which may or may not be seen depending on the angle, but it's gonna sit below the bed. Once again, I got some wood from my home center that is pre-cut and it comes in 11 and a quarter inches wide. I got both pieces clamped together so I can cut them at the same time so I know they're exact same length. I am sort of a moron as I cut through my bed, but it'll be all right. <laughs> so now we're gonna connect the base like this. It's just going to be uh, a rectangle with a piece down the middle. Once again, we're gonna use pocket holes to secure everything together. So the first thing we're gonna do is bed as a workbench because the, the driveway is definitely not flat. All right, there is the bottom base assembly. Now I want to drill some pocket holes along the bottom and attach it to the bed base. We had to move the party inside because my DJI camera, link in the description, couldn't handle the Ohio heat and kept overheating. So if you want one of those crampy cameras, there'll be a link in the description. There we go. We got the base connected to the support. So now it's time to pretty this up and we're going to use the good select pine to frame this off and the mattress will fit inside there. Whew. All right, so we have for the outside, the, the, the pieces that are gonna be showing, I got the good pine from my home center. This is the Claymark select pine. This is the New Zealand pine. Kind of expensive, but it's gonna work perfect. For the two ends, I want them the exact same size as this piece here, so I'm gonna hold this up. All right. All right, so I realized before I can put the fronts and sides on, I need to take these two pieces off so I can get at it and screw it in there. I'd like to thank my top Patreon supporters this week, and that's Evan and Caitlin, Jediah Schultz, Mark Fink, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Ashley Grennan, Stephen Machuka, Machaika, Jeremy Kerbler, Ryan Petzl, George Ann Reeve, Carl Brink, Adam Beckwith, Bill Deal, Brian McKnight, Chad Forster, Timothy Allen. If you want to support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. Who's in your house? So I'm just gonna take this board, line it up down there, and then scrap my pencil line and cut it to size. Just in case my measurements on my, and the plans are slightly off, I'm measuring off of here. If you notice, I'm not using any glue today. Everything is held together with screws. That way we can take it apart, we can move it as needed. If we decided we want some fancier wood on the outside, we can definitely do that. I just realized something. I was getting ready to screw this in uh, I'm just gonna put screws in here, but I also, I wanna put a couple pocket hole screws in the corner so this doesn't separate, because it, it will warp and separate over time. So the pocket hole jig we were using earlier, it's bigger and it made for repeated drilling holes a lot easier. This little one is also really great to take to your workpiece. It's a little bit more of a pain to use. Once you clamp it in there, 
Looks pretty good. Look at that, no more sleeping on the floor. I'd like to thank Wrangler for sponsoring today's video. I've been wearing their pants and their shirt all day and it's like 90 degrees here in Toledo. They've kept me cool and dry. If you'd like to win a pair of pants, use the hashtag Wrangler Rigs in the comments down below and next week I will pick out a winner on Twitter and Wrangler will send you a brand new pair of pants. All the wood for this bed came from Home Depot, hashtag not sponsored. They sell various grades of pine and poplar and they sell it at various widths. I based all the plans on the widths that they sell so I didn't have to rip any wood. All I had to do was cross cut. I did have to buy two sheets of half inch plywood. I can't get a full sheet of plywood in my car so I had them rip it down to 16 inches wide and that gave me six equal sheets. The purpose of using Home Depot for all the wood, hashtag not sponsored, is just to show you that anybody could make this bed. I will have plans available for this bed at my website at makesomething.tv. I wanted to make a project that was attainable to everybody with a few basic tools. To be 100% honest with you, if I would have bought this wood from my local hardwood dealer, KenCraft, hashtag not sponsored, it would have been a lot cheaper. I paid $302, but I found out I bought some extra boards. So I'm guessing the cost of all this wood came out to around 250 US dollars. My hardwood supplier sells higher grade pine and higher grade poplar at lower cost than Home Depot. But not everybody has the luxury of having an amazing hardwood dealer in their hometown. There's gonna be a phase two of this project where we stain it and I'm also gonna build a fancy headboard. I'm thinking it's gonna come up at an angle and then it's gonna wrap around and come out on the sides, a little place where we can put our phone. Like I mentioned before, I will have plans for this bed on my website at makesomething.tv. All right, kids, we'll see you next Thursday. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. What, 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 what? Is it time to go to work? <laughs>